Good evening. Um, I have been asked about the Samsung Odyssey settings. If I can go over them um, to set it up right. So I'll turn the camera and I'll video the screen because obviously I can't record it on the screen itself. So here we go. Let's see. I'll reset it. Um, you can reset it by going to support, reset all, yes, and it's getting reset, there. So, I'll open my video control panel, alright, so there's just a couple things to check. When you go to your menu, you can see refresh rate 120, adaptive syncs on. Low input lag is on, and you can see the response time. If you see the air, it's not full, and you can't change it. You need to turn adaptive sync off to be able to change this. So, turn it off now. We go response time fastest, as you can see, fastest. Refresh rate 240. Remember, you need uh, for the 3000 series of NVIDIA your. Um, sorry. For the 3000 series of NVIDIA, you're going to need update 1008.1 one, uh, 1 to be able to do this. Otherwise, your monitor will be completely black, black right now. So. 240 Hz fastest you saw my screen disappear for a bit there this is because the resolution went to this instead of this so I had black bars on the side but I fixed it in the video control panel but we'll go over that later so 240 fastest low input lag adaptive sync can go on again and there we go so as you can see it's now full the bar for response time low input lag on picture this is personal preference but i like the rts mode and then with black equalizer to 10. now let's see if they fixed a bug there's been a bug with this previously I haven't checked it as well so now we can let's see on screen display system so the local dynamic brightness on or off local dimming on or off so local dimming is the HDR uh, when I turn HDR on I can't record in Windows uh, for the games so I don't want it on but if you want to put it on you can um, now about Windows HDR I think it's really bad and uh, there might be that I do something wrong but let's see um, where is it over here so use HDR and as you can see in the top right HDR so in my opinion well you can see it obviously it gets really dark it's so dark not clear at all so I'm like HDR is on right now I can't change black equalizer I'm not sure if I can do anything here yeah so I can set it more bright I have no clue if this does anything useful for me. I don't like this in Windows. So in Windows, HDR for me is really bad. Oh damn. What happened here? You can't even see this anymore. So, HDR off. Yeah, alright. I like it like this more. Let's see what else we've got. I don't know if anything got changed, so 
let's put it back here my equalizer is 10 all right on screen display so move on to the other settings i leave hdr off you can put it on infinity core lightning on i like it to be rainbow and that means that it should be like this let's change colors well obviously it's in the back of the screen and you will definitely not see it unless you don't have something behind your desk so if you have a freestanding desk you can see it so we have this i want this off dynamic brightness i'm not sure what this does automatically adjust the brightness obviously but uh, you see there's two spaces over there oh damn all right I haven't seen, I've put it on and off, I haven't seen much difference, now, let's see, power on LED, I want the power, you can see in the bottom, so, when it's on it's blue, or when it's off it's blue, I want it blue when it's off, so when it's on, I don't see a blue light, that's what I like. And this is, I think, the most important one. This is this comes with the update, 1008.1 update. And this needs to be on. This basically makes sure you don't get flickering with using G-Sync and Adaptive Sync. So that's it. That's all the settings over there. For the NVIDIA control panel, it's in Dutch, but I think you will be able to manage. You can see uh, already, I want to pick NVIDIA color settings, RGB, 10BC, dynamic is fully, and I want my native screen resolution at 240 Hz. Yes, uh, let's see, not gonna change anything here. Now, if you're playing Counter-Strike specifically, Global Offensive, you can turn this to 100%. In-game, you will notice a difference. It will, look, it will look a lot better. Otherwise, leave it as this. I just want to keep the most on default. No turning. Uh, yes, there's audio. So I don't want scaling. So this means uh, the scaling option. If you are going to run a game at a resolution of 25, 60, 14, 40, you will get black bars on the side. That's basically what is set. If you go full screen and you put that resolution in, it will get stretched. So it's your preference again. Uh, especially in Counter-Strike. I want it to be a little bit stretched because the heads will be bigger and easier to see and to shoot. But I don't use it much anymore. I didn't use it for my latest videos on Counter-Strike. Then G-Sync, I want G-Sync on. I also want G-Sync on in, you know, in, in Windows not only in full screen because some games i run uh, borderless and yeah i just want g-sync on for everything then multiple display i don't have any um when you have a multiple display a second display some things can be different diff different uh, physics automatic but it's obviously the video card uh, this is nothing, this is nothing, Tra 3D settings, uh, there are some things here you can do, you should do, it's in Dutch, I try to translate, um, you want the image, the sharpening of the image, um, it should be off, this is what the option look like, so then, was it this one? No, this one. 
let's see. Okay, that should be off. Which video card do you want to use? Well, the only one I have. Triple sampling, buffering. Um, you should turn this off because it will cause input lag. A couple of milliseconds. Then the power management, you want optimal performance. Frame rate maximum, there isn't any for me monitor technology it's G-Sync compatible uh, multi-frame sampling uh, should be off environment occlusion so this says what does it say um, Turn it off. Open gel rendering. Well, only one option shader cache. So, this means your CPU will be used less because they will uh, compile shaders to a cache. So, turn it on. And Let's see. So quality. High speed. Hello. Threat optimization, yeah, on but automatically is good. Vsync, Vsync. I want this off. I think. Let's see. Yeah, let's turn this off. V-Sync is never good. Pre-rendered frames. That's a nice one. So, pre-rendered frames. If you put it higher, you will probably get a better performance. But you get input lag. So you don't want this. All right. Let's see this one. Uh, PR. Uh, turn it off. So on to prioritize the frames in the waiting line to one. I can't turn this on or off. Just leave it like this. Low latency mode. This is in English, and this is also an important one. You want to put it on ultra. Um, Because, again, input lag will be lower. Oh man, I clicked the wrong button here. So, let's go quickly. I pressed cancel instead of save. So I need to do everything again. 
Let's hope I do the same. Triple buffering, no. This is performance. This off. Off. On. Performance. On. Allow. On. Automatically one off. Yes, and this one is ultra. Yes, I pressed the right key this time. So it's saved. Um, and the physics automatically for the 3090. Um, let's see, there's a lot more I want to tell. Not much more I can tell. Because, well, this is it. That's all you can do. Um, this is how I set it up. So, back to the LOD. There's a lot of different things you can do. In the picture mode, you can push high bright uh, for like a really dark game. FPS game, for me this is too dark, the FPS, RTS. RPG, there's a lot of settings. This is just your preference. There's no, no one can tell you this is better than that. I have to say at this point, I've noticed this before that high bright is really bright and it's a lot better to see. Now, the RTS used to be like that ninety when you select RTS it gets a lot darker and it used to be almost as bright as high bright so maybe that setting changed so I think I'm gonna use high bright for now with 190.72 color tones let's see because the rest of the settings is like this it's 43.46 mode 1 43 .46. So, right now, I have the exact same settings on the high bright profile as the other profile, and it's still a lot different. That's what I mean. There's, it's strange about the uh, brightness of the screen. It's just strange how it manages that. But I'm going for high bright now. It looks better. So, I'm sorry this turned into a really long video, that wasn't planned, but uh, we went over all the settings and I hope this will help you set up your monitor, set up G-Sync and have a better experience with the display. See you.